I spent $10 million at the Diamond Casino to see if it's rigged. And the results, well, they might actually surprise you. I bet on 200 games of horse racing, played over three hours of slot machines, played 100 games of roulette, and 100 hands of blackjack. So let's find out which ones are actually fair value and which ones are designed to just rob you of all of your money. And let's start off with horse racing. When you're playing horse racing, there's a lot of options to choose from. Of course, you've got your six horses, but depending which horse you actually bet on, that changes how much money you can win along with how likely the horse is to win. So for the first 100 games of horse racing, I decided to only bet on the horse that had the best odds. In other words, the horse that would pay me the least amount of money, but also had the highest chance to win the race. With horse racing, the maximum amount of money you can bet is 10,000 chips per race. So by doing this for 100 races, that would mean I would gamble 1 million chips. So let's see how it went. I started this challenge with 65,000 chips. And luckily, my first one actually ended up in a win. As you can see here, Dream Shatterer won. Their odds were evens, which means because they won, I got my money back as well as evens, which is the amount of money I bet in the first place. So an additional $10,000. After the first 10 races, to my surprise, I was actually sitting at 115,000 chips. I had six wins and four losses for, so far, a profit of $50,000. Surprisingly though, my luck actually got even better. After 20 races, I was sitting at $255,000, with 7 wins and 3 losses in the next 10 races. The next 10 races resulted in 5 wins and 5 losses, bringing my total up to $335,000. I hit a bit of a losing streak in the next 10 races and dropped down to $315,000, and then got back in the winner's circle up to $385,000 after 50 races. So far, that gave us a profit of $320,000 after 50 races. So I took a bit of a break, all gambled out, and came back a few days later. This time, I started at $200,000. 137,000 chips and the same trend continued for this session as well. After the next 50 races, I ended up with 537,000 chips, bringing our profit for the second 50 races to $300,000. So across our 100 races with the best gambling odds, I had a total of $620,000 profit. To recap, I spent 1 million chips, gained 1.62 million chips for a profit of 620,000. So is horse racing rigged if you bet on the best horses? Well, yeah, but it's actually rigged in your favor and you are more likely than not actually win money consistently. Okay, so what if we actually bet on the horse with the worst odds? The horse that was completely unlikely to win had the worst odds, but if they did win, you would get a fair bit of money. Well, I did this for 100 races as well, and the results are honestly pretty amazing. I ended up losing my first 16 races, and this sucked because I actually ran out of chips and had to stop gambling and waited until I could get more chips to keep doing this. But across the next four races, I actually won twice. And because the horses' odds were so bad, when they won, I won a lot of money. So after 20 races, I was actually in the profits. I was up 170,000 chips. Across the next 10 races, I went 1 and 9. Lost 9 races and only won 1, but because the odds were so bad, I actually gained a lot of money here as well. So after 100 races, I actually ended up losing 92 of them and only won 8. So what were the results? Well, yeah, it's gonna be kinda tough because you will lose a lot of races, but the wins more than make up for the losses. It's not even close. After 100 races, I ended with a profit of 950,000 chips. So I spent 1 million chips, ended up winning 1.95 million chips for a profit of 950,000. So, is this rigged? Betting on the worst possible horse. Yet again, yes, it is completely rigged, 
but actually in your favor. So let's move on to slots. I spent $3 million playing slots in the casino, and I did this by playing 400 games of the Deity of the Sun slots. The reason for that is 400 games at the max bet of $2,500 equals $1 million. And then I followed up by playing 400 games on the Diamond Miner Machine twice. So if you didn't know, these two slots are the ones that give you the opportunity to bet the most amount of money and also make the most amount of money as well. So how did we go? Well, we started off with Deity of the Sun at $1.15 million. And after 300 goes on the slots, we were actually down to $942,000. So we had lost just over $200,000. However, after the next 100 slots, I earned a lot of money and actually ended up with 1.56 million. So the total profit was actually 515,000 chips. So how did that happen? Well, the slots are interesting because they rely on you winning big very rarely. Most of the time, you're just gonna lose, but on that odd tiny small chance that you actually hit the jackpot, you're gonna win a lot of money. And because of this, in real life, that's why slots are one of the most addictive machines in all of the casino. So with a little bit of money in our pockets, we went over to Diamond Miner to give the slots another go. This time we started off with the 1.56 million, of course, and after our 400 plays on the slots, we ended with only 1.1 million dollars. So here you can see what I mean. Most of the times you're just gonna lose on the slots, but that very odd chance that you hit it big, you'll end up profiting. But because these results were so varied, one of them we got a massive profit, the other one we got a massive loss, I decided to give Diamond Miner one more go. So I went back and played the slots a little bit later. This time it started with $712,000 and after our 400 plays, we ended up with only 165,000 chips, which means yet again, we lost big and this time we lost over half a million dollars. So that settled it. Are the slots rigged? Yeah, it, it looks that way. Now, of course, I know someone is gonna rush to the comments saying, no, they're not rigged. I won millions of dollars from it this one time. And yes, that, that is what happens. That is exactly how slots also work in real life. Someone you know will have won big one time or they just happen to be very lucky. They tell you how good it is and how you should be doing it. And then everyone goes and does it and most people lose money. So let's move over and have a go at roulette. Now, the thing with roulette is you are unlikely to win. You're never actually going to be likely to win. That's just how roulette works. So how did it go? Well, for this one, I wasn't actually really concerned with how much money we made or lost. I was more concerned with tracking what the ball actually landed on to see if that is rigged. So in case you're wondering, yes, we did actually lose money on roulette. We started at $1.1 million, ended up with about 712,000. So we lost somewhere around $400,000 but we tracked what color it landed on for every spin out of the 100, and the results were actually pretty surprising. It landed on black 49 times, red 47 times, and green four times. So in an average American roulette table, the probabilities are as follows. There's a 5% chance that it will land on green, and a 47.5% chance that it will land on red or land on black. And our results actually line up with this very, very closely. We had four greens, which isn't quite 5%, but it's very close. We had 47 reds, which is pretty much exactly on the money, and 49 times it landed on black, which again is very, very close. So with pretty strong confidence, we can say that roulette in the GTA 5 casino is not actually rigged. So let's move on to blackjack. Blackjack is a very difficult game in order to tell if it's rigged or not. But if we use a blackjack cheat sheet, which tells us exactly what to do depending on the hand that we have and the hand that the dealer has, that will give us the highest chance of winning. So even if we use this cheat sheet, the odds of the player winning a game of blackjack still only sits at 42.22%. The dealer, on the other hand, will always have a 49.1% chance of winning, and then you have about an 8.5% chance of tying. So how did we actually go? Well, we started
started off with 50 bets of $10,000. In these 50 games, we ended up winning 24 of them. We started off with $537,000 and ended up with $602,000 for a profit of $65,000. We then decided to gamble more money and put our bet up to $25,000 for the last 50 bets. So in the next 50 bets, how did we do? Well, this time we only ended up with 18 wins out of 50. And because we were betting more money, this means we actually lost more money too. So we started with $602,000 and ended up with $439,000 for a total loss of just over $160,000 for the final 50 bets. So let's look at the total results. At the end of our 100 games of blackjack, we ended up winning 42 of them. Across the 100 games, we ended up losing 45 games and ended up having a tie on 13. So how does that line up with the blackjack odds? Well, the odds of a player winning is actually 42.22%, so that's pretty accurate. The chances of the dealer winning are 49.1%, which again is very, very close and the odds of a tie are eight and a half percent. This time it was 13% out of our 100 bets, but again, that is very, very close. So while we can't expect the results to be 100% accurate, it does look like we can assume that the results here show that it's not rigged. So let's sum up, have a look at the entire results and see which ones are rigged. Horse racing. Yes, it is rigged. However, it's completely rigged in your favor. This is actually a good way to make money. If we look at slots, it does look like they are slightly rigged against you. However, there is an off chance that you will win very, very big. And if you do that, you'll end up profiting. But overall, I would recommend staying away from this one. For roulette, it doesn't look like it's rigged. However, you just don't have a good chance of winning and you're likely going to lose money. So again, I would recommend staying away. And for blackjack, it doesn't look like it's rigged again. And even though this does give you the most choice out of all of the games at the casino, even if you make the best choice according to probability every single time, you still are unlikely to win. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. This is a question I've wanted to answer for a very, very long time. So I'm glad we finally got around to doing it. I hope you stand safe and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Since I was in the seventh grade, had my first kid, I was only 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. But you won't find me on the mountaintop.